Hey, we're back. We're back. We're back to Mass Effect. Yeah. We got one more galaxy to search for uh, these uh, rebel geth. I guess all geth are rebel geth. We're going to Vamshi. Vamshi. Oh, there is the planet of Maji. Maji. That is the name of a very good anime. We're gonna we're gonna serve a Pragel. Oh, Turian Insignia. This is a very small system. Almost. It's almost large. Okay. Going to Maji. <sighs> Alright, we gotta take uh, Rex this time. Tali and Rex. Probably level up Rex a few times on some stuff. I think we were working on like making his health monstrously high, which is fun. <laughs> Rex is such a tank. <laughs> Screw the Mako, let's just ride on Rex's back. <laughs> that would be way more durable. Oh my gosh, this planet is so red, it is hurting my eyes. Holy crap. Okay, Rex, what am I gonna do with you? We give you some more throw too. I don't know, man. Let's finish off your fitness. I think that'd be fun. Over four hundred health. Oh, Tolly, let's finish off your electronics. You are like a tech master, Tolly. Can't really do much shooting or anything else though. But let's see here. Outpost is way over there, so that's cool. We got the anomaly and the debris right here. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this planet is so red. Oh, oh. now we got some rocks. Like, the thing is, my, my capture card kind of like discolors my TV a little bit to like make it really good quality when it goes in the computer. But because of that, like reds get even brighter. So like, this is like seriously hurting my eyes. All right, what do we got here? It's thorium. Is thorium this usually this red? I don't know. Is, is thorium a real element? Is it named after Thor, the thunder god of Norse? Or, you know, the Norse thunder god. I don't think, you know, of Norse would be like the name of the place is Norse. I don't know. Whatever. We are checking out an anomaly. I'm pretty sure this outpost... Does this outpost have a base? Maybe only that first outpost actually has a base. I think this one's just an outside fight. Not sure. We'll see. Oh, I'm so happy I have a fridge. I'm going to have cold soda again. That's nice. I was getting a little bit tired of warm soda all the time. I don't mind warm soda too badly, but I do prefer cold soda. I think most people do. Ancient Debris. Counts as an artifact. Which means we have to hack into it. <coughs> Turning Insignia. I wish we could find more Matriarch writings, to be honest. Oh well. Most important collectibles, I believe, are, are, the, are the minerals and rocks and gases and stuff. Followed by the Matriarch writings. Whoa! We had, we had a dinosaur bone here. Th that's it? We just we found a dinosaur. Cool. I think that actually comes into play in Mass Effect 3. This, this, uh, this fossil does. I think that actually comes into play in Mass Effect 3. It's so funny because in this game it's just so random. It's just like, oh look, you found a fossil. Oh great. Alright, what kind of debris do we have over here? I don't see anything big, it must be something small. Crash probe, crash probe. <coughs> 
Yeah, I swallowed funny. Choking on my own spit. Um, my gosh, the other nice thing from this whole weekend, my apartment is so clean now. Prior to this weekend, I think I probably had about 40 soda cans sitting around and eight pizza boxes. The beds were totally unmade. I had stuff lying everywhere, you know, clothes, video games, wires. Nothing was organized. Now it all, it looks like a pretty livable place. So that's nice. Um, right now I'm kind of living on my own. My, my arrangement right now, right now I'm finishing up my student teaching to actually get my teaching certificate. So I'm staying at my grandma's, but she has an apartment in her upstairs. So that's where I'm staying. So, I mean, usually, I mean, you know, I'll go down there and talk and have, you know, family meals, you know, when there's big events like Easter and stuff like that. A lot of times I just, I just stay up here. You know, go downstairs, to get to my car, and go to work, and stuff like that. Um, so, I don't know, she knows it's a mess up here sometimes, and she usually doesn't come up here. You know, and she doesn't clean it herself. She does do my laundry, which is, is so nice of her. Um, I can't cook, but I can do my laundry. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Yeah, that's just, that's my living condition right now. It's actually, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good sized apartment for just myself. Um, I could definitely have several guests here. I mean, both my parents, both my brothers stayed up here. Uh, in that case, I did, I went downstairs and just slept on one of my grandma's couches so that my family could have all the beds. Uh, we got more rocks, or is that the base? I think it's the base. Maybe there's some rocks. I think there's rocks. Oh, sweet. More rocks, more rocks. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks on these planets. This is like, yeah, the big area where you get a whole lot of your minerals. Oh, I think each one of those red diamonds is a turret. Oh, great. That's actually not that scary, to be honest. Magnesium. Uh, I cannot see. Oh well, I have I have bigger guns. I am cool. Now let's go down a little bit and take care of this one for fun. Bam! Bam! It's gone. And another turret. Shh. Geth heavy turret. I highly doubt a Geth Heavy is operating that. Uh. Bam. Bam. My rockets are better. Uh. 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 And I think we have a big Geth fight at the top of here. I actually think this is the easiest of the Geth outposts. I think I did the Geth. I think I did the Geth outposts in the opposite order that I usually do. I think I usually start from the right and then work my way to the left. But, I mean, this works fine. Uh, should we get closer? I think the Geth dropship comes in this one and, and, and gives. Oh, I'm rich! Whole oh, awesome! I'm rich. I got an achievement for being rich. You think that means I have like max money or something like that? Could be. Bam! Oh, I missed. That sucks. I don't want to die. I just got rich. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're out of shields. We might want to leave the vehicle, especially if reinforcements are coming in a drop ship. Which I don't remember if that is the case or not. Uh. Yep. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's go, uh... Hey, Tali, do you think you could hack that? That sounds like a really, really smart idea. Let's get out of our tank against theirs, 
and see if Tolly can hack it. Okay, Tolly. Uh, go hack it. Uh, Tolly's blocked. Why is Tolly blocked? Why is Tolly still blocked? Tolly! Oh, she... No, okay. Oh. Okay, she already tried. Is it hacked? It is not hacked. Okay, let's get back in the tank, guys. Oh, wait, we got Rex! This isn't gonna be a problem! I'll just sabotage it and overload it, and we will be fine. Bam! Hide, we'll hide behind the tank. This seems like a really, really smart idea. I'm, I'm such a genius. Yeah, go for the Krogan, go for the Krogan. Why am I using this weapon? Let's use our sniper rifle. That's such a big target. Bam! Oh yeah. Bam! Oh crap, oh crap, please don't look at me. I have, a, I have a nice big Krogan you need to worry about. Fuck! Okay, well, he took care of the Krogan. Touche, sir. Assassination! That'll make my next shot really powerful. Bam! Assassinated! Nope. Bam! Assassinated! Uh, hey, Tali, I think I made a bad choice. What do you think? Bam! Uh, I can't even see how much health it has. Overload? Kablunk! I think I can dodge its big shots. Uh, sabotage? Eh, is it dead yet? Are we killing it at all? Because we really, really can't use the tank anymore. Fuck, this was a horrible plan. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? Uh, I guess I could try reviving Rex. Rex can take it, don't you think? I don't even know if I'm hurting it at all, I can't see its health. Like, I don't know, I almost want to take the tank and make a run for it, but it seems like a really stupid idea. I thought one of these we did it? Would be a major base of we did it! Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside the star cluster. Oh, we got one more. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. The main Geth base. Um, the we're back here. Oh, uh, Tank, you look great. Never better. we get some good stuff. Oh, we got some tungsten rounds. That's nice. I could use some better tungsten rounds. Maybe that'll help take out, like, giant takes, tanks faster. Oh, I was using shredder rounds? No wonder I was having so much issues. God damn it. I thought I still had tungsten rounds on this thing. Shit. Whatever. We won. I'm worried I'm going to go in the tank and just going to explode on me. Holy fuck. This tank is toast. Oh my god. Okay, I totally forgot there was actually a fifth Geth Outpost. Um, what should we take? We're actually going inside this time, so it might make sense to take Caden with us, since he's our other tech expert that we have. Because that'll just give us so many options for fighting. We're going into a main base for Geth. It just... It makes sense to, to bring all the tech people. We're going to Grism. I think... Am I right that in Mass Effect 3 there's like Grism Academy and I guess it would be here? In this star cluster? Maybe. Oh, we got a medallion. Yay. Uh, Zerooks. Zerooks. Uh, Beryllium. Okay, cool. Man, we... Uh, Man, we are having such a long time before getting our last, uh, partner. All right, it's on that moon. Sulcrum. Um, I don't remember that being too hard. I think there's like three Geth tanks waiting for us. Not like the Colossus, the, uh, arm whatevers. Oh, yeah, oh, we found a rare element. Sweet. Uh, okay. Let's go. Sulcrum it is. We got a little bit of time left in this episode, so I'll explore around for a bit. I uh, Somehow, finding that Geth Colossus didn't eat up all of the time. 
Okay. No, not not Ashley. Caden and Tali. The only way we could have a more tech-savvy team is if I was also a technician. And then, alternatively, we could take Garrus instead of Caden. But, I don't know. I don't know. Caden seems more like a techie guy to me. Garrus being more of a snipey guy. Of course, Caden seems more like a bionic to me than than a, uh, you know. You, you know, you get what I mean. Um, we were working on your lift. You're good. Map. That is the Geth main base, I'm assuming. I don't know. Doesn't say. It's just a big exclamation mark. Wait, we just opened the journal. Okay. What ifs? Still want to go back to my map. We got an anomaly over here. I don't think there's any Thresher models on this planet. But let's save just because I said that. Oh, wow. We didn't save on that red planet at all. That, uh, oh, crap. I just realized how bad that would have been. Oh, I would have done exactly what I was saying. We would have died of that Geth Colossus, and then I'd be on Caspin, and I'd be like, shit. We gotta do all of that again. I am so happy now that we didn't die. Okay, this looks like potential Thresher Maw area. It's, it's a big, flat, open space. Are we good? No Thresher Maws? No Thresher Maws. Okay, so there's the anomaly is probably on the other side of this mountain, like on top of it or something. Uh, can we do a turn? Can we do a turn? Oh yeah, we got like a plateau up here. There's your uh, vocabulary word of the day: plateau. The mountain with a flat top on it. An Asari capsule. I hope there is an Asari matriarch writing in here. Hey, look, an Isari Matriarch Riding. Awesome. Because we only need ten of those, I guess. How many do we have now? Like, five? Wait, that's Asari Diplomacy. I'm just looking for Asari Riding. So we got five. We're halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa! Looking for Matriarch Ridings. Um... I think we're exploring some debris now or something. Is that right? Let's go to the debris. And I'll probably cut off the episode before we actually take on the Geth outpost. We got a level one hazard here? Of what? Like pressure? Dust? It is pretty dusty here. See all that dust flying around. Maybe it's poisonous. Maybe it's a poison hazard. I don't remember. It was out there suffocating and I didn't even notice. That's how tough Picard is. Uh, there is no indicator what the hazard is or how long I have to survive. Great. Uh, what do we get? Tungsten rounds, which is good. Tungsten rounds are way better than shredder rounds for taking out metal things. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the episode here and see you guys next time.